a warm welcome back to Attigan Park for episode 8 with me, Mr Sealy P. It's just gone 7 o'clock in the morning. We're back here in Atcham, Attingham Park. As you've just seen, the money has gone up considerably. Although we have sold all of our wood chips. We have none left. Um, and I'll be honest, I didn't... Considering we sold, what, 500,000 litres, if not more, of silage, we didn't even make 200,000. That surprised me a little bit. But anyway, we're sitting on 949 grand. So, you know, it's not all bad. Uh, but we're at the store, because it's time to spend some more money. Of course it is. We need stuff. So, uh, first up, we need a harvester, because one of our fields is ready to harvest. And I've decided to go with the Fent 9490X. Oh, we can change the main colour. Uh, I think we can leave it standard, I think. Uh, probably standard, I think. Oh, cruel tracks. Does add a bit extra on, doesn't it? But it does look rather nice. I think we're going to stick with a standard tyre. Yeah, 12,500 litre tank. Let's buy that. Now, as far as the header goes for this, there is a header that comes with it. And I was going to go with the standard header that comes with it and get a header trailer. Uh, it's a power flow 35 foot. Well, I thought for a little bit extra, we could go for a 45 foot, it should work. Uh, and I'm going to change that up because we want that to be all a fent all the time. Let's go with fent on that and then fent on that. Change that to fent and let's buy it. Now, our onions are ready to harvest. Let's go through and grab this. It's all very exciting. I do need to get a cultivator. I want to do uh, grass bales because we're going to sort sheep out at some point too. Oh, that was the other thing I was going to get. Oh, we'll sort that in a little while. We can get the harvest underway. We're in the shadow a little bit here. Um, obviously, being part of um, Agco, it does look a little bit like... I think there's, we've got a Massey. It's a larger Massey looks like this. I think we're going to need beacons on because we've got some... Now, this is the only thing. We've got plenty of room. Is this going to go across our bridge, our newly built bridge? Interestingly, I was talking to, I say talking to, I was messaged by Big Daddy, and um, he said it was really weird that, although he did it on Spectacle, I think it was, Dagawin was putting a bridge in on Spectacle Island, or almost at the same time that I was building the bridge here at um, Attingham. What are the odds? It's one of those things I've always said. That coincidences do happen. And there's only a limited amount of things you can do. Although it's a fairly large array of things, but there's still a limit. I'm going to go cross-country. I think it's going to be easier. Putting that bridge in should have made all the difference. Now, something I've been very remiss on, and I do apologise, is my facts and information. I did say this, and there's going to be a, a, a limited amount of stuff I can talk about Attingham Park, and we might look a little bit further afield at Atcham and maybe the church and stuff like that. But I have found out a bit more information, so I thought while we're doing the drive over, we could discuss it. Attingham Park and it's cads and bounders they weren't all cads and bounders but it's interesting the bits of information i have found out um in 1768 noel hill inherited the estate of turn hall he was a member of parliament and became an influential lord mayor of london um sir roland hill in 1772 yeah so so he was sir roland hill no that's weird. Oh no, he was the descendant of one of the Lord Mayors of London, Sir Rowland Hill. In 1772, Noel Hill, later named Lord Berwick, decided he needed a new house. One you know, more in keeping with his status and his pretensions 
and he began building the mansion. It cannot <laughs> be called simply a house. Uh, so, he came up with the name Attingham by mangling the name of nearby village of Atcham. Now, Hill's son Thomas inherited Attingham in 1789. I love this bit. But Thomas was a bit of a wastrel. <laughs> a bit of a cad. Um, he set off on a grand tour of Europe, because that's what you do when you're an aristocrat and you've got a bit of dosh. Um, acquiring fine art as he went, buying it, commissioning it, and getting all sorts of things made, sculptures, paintings, and things like that. But, of course, the art he collected needed a showpiece to display it. So he called in architect John Nash, a friend of the future Prince Regent, to design a gallery. The money continued to flow through Thomas Hill's hands like it was water. It was no surprise when he eventually declared himself bankrupt. <laughs> so to pay the debts, the contents of Attingham Park went on sale at auction in 1827. Not everything was sold, and some family members did buy bits um, to sort of keep it within the family if they possibly could. Which is amazing. Now, Thomas Berwick's brother, a career diplomat, then filled the house with his own collection of fine art gathered during a posting in Italy. So there's a very Italian theme to everything. The carrots are growing. Oh, we just about got on there. Tracks probably would have done as well. But I'm very pleased with the bridge. Uh, but when he died without an heir, the estate passed to his brother, a cleric. And this is great as well. Of whom it is said he swallowed more wine than any man in the in the county. I thought it said country. I was going to say, whoa, bold statement. Um, and it was then left to his son, Roland Noel Hill, to finally put the state in financial order once more. Uh, Roland Noel Hill also established a famous herd of Hereford cattle at Attingham. So, yeah, what an interesting and turbulent time the place had. Um, and that's why, well, later on, when it was in 1940, the 1946, the eighth Lord of uh, Berwick, when he died without an heir, that was when it was bequeathed or passed over to the National Trust. So I hope you got your fix of um, <laughs> a little bit of information at him. There's loads of stuff I found out about the artworks and things like that, which we I could go into, but I just I just loved that. I just it kind of just made me think of cads and bounders. I love the, the term wastrel. It's a wastrel. So, harvest next to us. Got a nice big header. Shouldn't be a problem. I was going to buy another tractor, wasn't I? I'm still really torn as to what tractor I'm going to get. I think I know what I'm going to get. But again, like everything else I've been doing, it could be a bit of a kind of a test, really. And if it doesn't work out how I hoped or want or think, then we'll go with something else. It's not too much of an issue. What we will do, though, is disconnect that. Let's open that up. I like this. I remember the last time I used a fence. I know this is the ideal, but I'm pretty sure when I use it as a washo, um, did I have the, my, the modded one? And I had it as... Oh, man. Was it the... I can't remember what model type I had. It was certainly wasn't as Fen. Now I need to make sure because I can never remember. Uh, no straw swath is on. We want straw swath on because that's the final ingredient we need for making our Tolmix ration. Again, I say we need. We don't need it, but the Tolmix ration I make does use it. And then what we'll do is as we go. Let's open up that. Um, wow, that's... Uh, well, I'm going to stop there because I'm really baffled. Let's just stop there a second. Let's open up this. So, field 40, pH level... I did automatically. Why is the nitrogen? No, the nitrogen was applied automatically. And that was saying perfect nitrogen for the crop that was in the ground. Because I applied that after the crop, because the crop was already in. 
why is the yield so poor? Or is that just it? I mean, it might just be the fact that on that particular soil type, on silty clay, that just might be the maximum you get. I know there is a there is a scale, isn't there? That doesn't matter what you do to it, there is still a maximum that you, you will not let you go above. That's frustrating. Now the straw from this won't be baled, this will just be collected as I've done before. It'll be put loose in our silo at the main farm. And it's grass that I'm going to be, when I cut that, I'm going to do a load of grass bales. And as I said, because I bought the sheep pasture, the little hidden sheep pasture, there's a building next to it. I'm going to fill that building with grass bales and we're going to use grass bales for feeding the sheep. We've got enough money to, well, start with one of them. Whether it be cows we start with or sheep or a bit of both, I'm not too sure. We might just have a bit of a livestock thing, you know. We'll do a whole load. Um, I'll have to bring over the tractor and the trailer to unload this. And what I'm going to do when I get to the end of this row, I'm going to swing it round and come back the other way because I've done it again. My pipe's facing into the field. It needs to be facing out of the field, ready for when we have a full harvester. But we are now finally harvesting. I don't want to. I don't want to see how bad that yields at the moment. Let's turn that off. Um, yeah, not good. Now, uh, of my videos, it depends which of my videos you watch. You might only watch my uh, mod reviews, in which case you'll, you won't be watching this, so that's irrelevant. But if you only watch my Atting and Park and you're not watching my Italia demo, or you watch my Let's Plays and not my mod reviews, I just wanted to let you know, we do have a limited amount of merchandise available at the moment. When I say limited amount, I mean limited things in that. We have set up, and when I say we, myself and Silly G, some merchandise at the moment it stands at we've got some t-shirts or we've got a t-shirt design which just has my logo on in some different colors all through teespring link in the description and a hoodie and that's just a test thing so we're going to do a test on that and the hoodie we want to add some more products to that line uh some various different hats i want to add a mug possibly a sticker if that's at all possible we want to add to that plus we want to play around with the designs as as it stood, we could have the, the logo. I wanted to have a range of different sort of sayings and things on, on the t-shirts. Um, but that was proving difficult. And Silly G had an idea for a long sleeve one that had my logo and then Mr. CP down the arm. But anyway, so we're going to have a fiddle around. But as it stands, in the description, the video description, there are two links. Because for some reason, the main link wouldn't work. The one that takes you to both of them. So if you're interested in a bit of merch, a t-shirt or a hoodie, go and check it out. I know a lot of people have been asking for a long time and I've kind of held off doing it. Um, but no one see the more YouTubers I watch, and nearly all the YouTubers I watch, they've all got merch, they've all got stuff they sell, they've all, you know. I thought, well, yeah, why not? Why not me as well? So, that's what we're going to be doing. It's exciting. Oh, look at that. The sun coming up. What a glorious sight. The harvester cracking on. Lovely. Tell if I was going in a, a better line than that. Well, I'm getting a fair bit off this. Now, I have no intention on this Let's Play of doing horses. So, I think what we're going to do is just sell the oats straight away. I don't know what the price is, but we'll sell it straight away. Uh, I will collect this straw, and then if I, if we got time, I want to if we've got time try and uh, try and get the onion harvest underway. I think it's going to be getting a few bits and bobs here and there, but we'll try. We should get a nice amount of straw off this. I'm also going to then need a feed wagon if I'm going to mix total mix ration. Yeah, blimey, I haven't thought of that. I need more money. The biogas plant stopped making enough. For the amount of work I'm putting in, I didn't, I didn't get anywhere near as much as ever out of that as I thought. It's quite scary, really. We have got a load of digestate on hand, so I could spread some digestate. 
or I don't think there's anywhere actually locally that buys it. Let's just stop there again. Let's have a look at our sales point. I don't think there's anywhere that buys Digestate. Yeah, we've got 312,000 litres of it from all this, the uh, silage we've sold. No, nowhere that buys it. Hmm, okay. Look at that, price of wood chips, 1,300 at lower cost sawmill. That's pretty good. Right then. Happy days. Not far off full. It's nice finding having a harvester. I did have a message sent to me offering me, well, kind of like a contract idea. And I did feel bad declining um, because I'm not running contracts on here. That's the only downside. Let's put the beacons on. The only downside with running the much wider header than it's designed for is the pipe only just about makes it out further than the header. So whilst it runs it and it makes life a little bit easier, we're going to have to come at this at a bit of an angle, I think, just to get it to unload properly. But we will. My grass fields did finally grow. Everything, everything got to its final growth stage. I don't know why it was kind of holding off. So that first bit I cut and realised it had all gone horribly wrong. Um, it's kind of started to regrow again. But the rest of it... Nice lush green. We should get a load of grass bales off of that. Um, I forgot to give that back, so we got clobbered for leasing fees. And thank you to everyone that commented as well um, about, and it was only after I got the other stuff and started doing it all separately, it suddenly dawned on me, why did I not think of it? Because that's a trailer hitch. There are a couple of different modded versions of this available. But had I bought one of these, or leased one of these, the uh, front lifter by Pepe978, I think it is. Uh, that will attach and give you a three-point link, PTO, trailer hitch, that kind of stuff. And then I could have done what I set out to do with the trailed lifter and the uh, hay bob. I could have, with that, created, cut the grass, turn it into hay, all in one pass, which would have saved me a lot of time. All because I'd completely forgot about putting that attacher on the back of there. But thank you to everyone that commented, reminding me. The stupid thing is I have done it in the past. I have used it a lot and I don't know why it just didn't even cross my mind. So anyway, another reason for going for the Fent was um, because I've got my Fent tractor. So I thought, hey, let's, let's go, let's go Fent, why not? Right, we cut down through here now. I've got to decide what crop to put in this field next. That massive field of carrots. <laughs> oh no, the gate goes the wrong way. Oh, don't really want to drive through. Right, let's go around. Once I've done a couple of rounds, we should be alright. Yeah, it didn't take as long as I thought it was going to be, which is pretty good. And I'll be totally honest at this point <laughs> and tell you uh, one of my twins came in from work, literally as I was recording that bit and started shrieking at the dog when she came in because she was he was excited she was home she was excited to see him uh so i paused my game and now i can't remember what i was talking about I li literally completely lost my thread other than the fact we're driving around now to, to pick up uh the oats uh, oats aren't saying too badly sunrise bakery are paying over a thousand so we should do all right from this hopefully we'll be all right for the unload there we go We'll get another strip done. Let's turn the engine off on that. Oh, it looks lovely, doesn't it? Oh, I need to get away again. I definitely need to get away. I'm feeling that urge again, you know. I haven't seen any live live farming in ages. Last couple of times I've been up to the lakes, normally I find something somewhere, you know, there'll be something going on. It's got quite a lot of slow on low speed, this one. Turn the big ones off. Um, yeah, normally I find something. I always take my camera, I always take my drone with me, and I've always got it in the car, and it's always, you know, kind of ready to go in case I find something amazing. I'll, I'll record this, I'll film this, I'll get, you know, haven't really come across very much. The odd stills here and there I take, often when I find a tractor somewhere, you know, 
I might post them on Instagram, which I haven't done for a while either. But, yeah. Need to do that. So a couple of trips I still need to sort out with everything that's been going on with the, the recent unpleasantness. It's been nearly a couple of years, I think. A couple of the things I had arranged got put on the back burner and then no, that never happened. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Start it up. Let's spool it up. And away we go. I'm in my new toy. I went for it. I've leased an onion header. And I've got... I haven't got one of the big onion harvesters. Oh no, look. It's like being on a... T I've got a HR46. Oh, that's awful. I just... I don't like it. Let's go to that and that. Gone for one of them. So I've got a pull behind harvester and the topper on the front. It's quick going that way, isn't it? We'll go the way we went. Our oat harvest is going incredibly well, very productive. Although the yield is sitting at eighty-five percent, I can't imagine what it'd be if it was on better soil. The yield could be phenomenal. So we're going to take this to our onion field. Did I, oh no. Did I mean, just trying to think if I mentioned this when I planted the onions, uh, the, the song that I might have done just popped into my head. My uh, nan used to sing, I'm a lonely little petunia in an onion patch. <laughs> Am I really showing my age now? Oh, blimey. I remember as a kid, I, thought, oh, I say I remember, I remember mum telling me that we used to cry, she used to sing this song. It's just about a flower that was on its own growing in this onion patch and and that it used to cry and I don't, isn't it weird? I just, that's just something that pops into my head. <clears throat> well, it doesn't bother me at all, you know, it's not, you know, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I'm going way around there, cut across here. Looking forward to this, we'll do some topping first. I get a load of straw off this. Load of straw. Isn't it funny as well how sometimes, I don't know why, because on FS17 we had the grass, didn't we? That if you drove across it, it would take it back a growth stage. And then they, they took that away for 19. Sometimes I'll happily just go tonking across the grass, don't even think about it. Other times I'll take the roadway because in my head I'm thinking, Oh, shouldn't we go across the grass? Especially if I've got to mow it and bale it. Isn't it weird how your mind works? So I will... I can't... Unlike a... Sugar beet harvester, or in this case the ones where you've got the carrot harvester or the onion harvester, the pull behind one, when you unfold it, offsets off to the right, which means the topper and... Um, harvester don't run together doesn't quite work. When I got rid of the old CD, you know the one that I'd rented, because I had seed in it, I unloaded it all and put the seed there. Um, right, this side this time. There we go. We're gonna, we're gonna do onions. He's got some onions on him, that one. Right. Let's disconnect that. Turn it on. Drop it down. Let's top these onions. 
Whoa, okay, that's something a bit different. I was not expecting that. Oh, okay, that's something a bit... Um, wow, yeah. I was not expecting that. Any bits I miss, I will mop up, don't worry. You know me, you know, I won't, uh, I won't allow that to be left. Why is this strange? Very cool, though. Very cool. It's nice doing something different, isn't it? With a different bit of kit. Now that particular one, that's a modded um, one. That's designed for, that will do potatoes, onion and carrots. 10,000 litre capacity. Although the pickup head is not very big, so it will take a while. But with the gear I've got at the moment and the finances I've got, but I just thought, yeah, I, I thought I'd give this a go. I mean, in essence, I know when this came out, I kind of raved about it. It's been a real multi-tool. It, it's no different to a tractor. I mean, at the end of the day, it's articulated, and we've got articulated tractors. It's got a three-point link front, three-point link rear, which most tractors have. So, you know, I suppose the difference is you can't attach a front loader to this. You can't attach front loader tools. Um, but what I thought was very different, although there are some attachments for cranes and stuff on the back of tractors and things, because you've got the crane option on here as well. I don't know, I just, I just thought it was really cool. Couple that with the fact we're doing onions. Well, I mentioned that. We're doing onions. It's got him to that harvester. What I'll probably do is see if we can find a worker to crack on with this for us. I was over aim to that and I'll come back and get on with it once all the topping's done. Let's get these onions out of the ground. Turns really tight as well. I'm on my way to the Sunrise Bakery. I have a first full load of oats off the field. The harvester is full, 12,500 litres, and there's a little bit left to go. I'm going to sell this because the price at Sunrise Bakery is 1,079, but it's starting to fall. So I thought we'd bring it here. Um, come on. Get out of the way. It does sound like a happy place, doesn't it? Sunrise Bakery. This, this one here, isn't it? Now, I was going to save this for a different um, different episode because it's at the greenhouses at the farm. Um, but this was mentioned to me, I think it was Farmer Foley, but I, I had already found it and that's what I mean, I was going to save it. This little field here, field 47, is tiny, but this little plot of land comes with two more greenhouses. And I was going to do an episode and just do a secret garden or something like that, but it's down here, field 47. And it's 12,780. 
you get a little plot and you get the greenhouses just tucked away down here nice little spot reminds me of all the different sort of allotments and growing areas all around the UK all various different places I've been you find them in very strange places in amongst houses and estates and industrial parks and there's an allotment well, there's two allotments actually not far from me one is tucked in there's all the houses all the streets there's a the big cemetery just opposite the football ground where I live and the allotment is tucked away in the back corner between the cemetery and two roads it's just there just tucked away behind the houses it's yeah it's amazing I think it comes back to all the uh, during World War II wasn't it when, when we were in the UK especially growing whatever we could wherever we could it was everyone's responsibility you know dig to victory and all that kind of thing and all these little plots kind of pops up all over the place very hard to get an allotment place now 56,122 we'll take that so what I'm going to do is go back empty the harvester when that last little bit is done empty that because I'm going to need this trailer actually I'm just thinking will will the pipe on the carrot harvester reach over the side of this I hope so um, can I get down where that hedge is just need to get this angle a little bit tighter there we go yeah, so I need to empty the harvester and get all of the oats done before I can then use the trailer. I have got that small trailer, but two loads of 10,000 litres of onions and that's full. So I really want to use this one. If that's at all possible. So uh, let's crack on with that. This has been recorded in a couple of stages. I apologise for my excitement over onions. I, I know for a lot of people on loads of different maps, there are so many different additional crop types. And onions and carrots, I know they're not new to the game, but yeah, it is what it is. All of the oats have now been delivered. And I, re I re 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 remembered. I realised, remembered, on the way back, that... This trailer, R1 and right stick side to side, I can raise and lower that side. L1, right stick side to side, I can raise and lower that side. So if the pipe's not quite high enough, I just drop the side of the trailer. Awesome. Now, I have dropped off the harvester. I'm not sure where I'm going to put that yet. Yeah. Because I don't have a drive through barn, so the yeah, header might stay out and the harvester might go away. I've taken the topper off of the front, because I don't really need it in the way, but I don't know how this is going to be with weight distribution but we'll soon find out mm, seems alright we'll close the gate again in a minute I'll probably just do a strip up and then we'll go from there really let's unfold don't hit the fence post uh, turn it on drop it down We're not collecting onions. Now I'm puzzled. We're supposed to top these. Am I missing something? That does that. Let's just double check something here, shall we? Least SE two sixty multi carrots, onions, potatoes. Why does that say harvester for carrots at the bottom? Yeah, it says carrots, onions and potatoes. It's definitely the multi. I topped with the onion header. Oh no, seriously. That can't be right. Is 
It's not doing anything. No. What, what am I missing that's really obvious here? On low T. No. Right, they've been topped. They are ready to harvest, aren't they? They should be, because they, they want it topping. Ready to harvest. What is going on? Hang on, hang on, we've got something there. What is happening? Why is this intermittently picking some up okay so it is working is it that the hitch is too high is that what it is it's too high at the back so that the actual pickups not working there's no way of adjusting that is there I wonder if I switch it over to the normal tractor, whether or not that'll work. Oh, that's so frustrating. Right, let's turn that off. It could just be that. The fact we just got some. Let's switch over. It doesn't work with the fence. I don't know what we're going to do. Hmm, not as good a multi-tool as I was hoping. Rather frustrating. Let's try that. Maybe I'll just have to pull the trailer with that, but I don't know if that's kind of the oof. It should have. It should have. Right, let's try this. If this doesn't work, I'm out of ideas. <laughs> I'm assuming it's going to hook up lower. Yep. Now we're cooking on gas. That's all it was. Right. Let's swing round. Onions! That's just a reminder. I'm having one of those days, aren't I? Being reminded of things. Being reminded of things from my ute. When I were a young lad, back in day, working down pit 32 hours a day, shoveling coal with bare hands, um, my brother and I were quite into our basketball. We played a bit and um, we watched a lot. There were a few channels we used to watch on TV that would broadcast American basketball. So we used to watch, we used to watch a lot of the East and Western Conference stuff and we'd watch the finals and oh, well, I think couple of times we stayed up to watch the final you know the final finals um like three in the morning it started here in the uk we used to watch loads of it but there was a guy and i can't remember something rafferty but i don't i think it was college basketball I don't i don't know if, you know if he was a mainstream say mainstream you know what i mean i know college basketball is massive in the us like college football and that kind of stuff um but he was a commentator and he used to, I mean, I don't recall whatever watching him doing it, but I know a lot of the guys that used to host the program in the UK talked about him because they, they would talk about the commentators and different stuff and catchphrases and things like that. And if there was like a clutch play, like a dying second three point shot that saved the game or won the game or whatever it might be, um, he would shout onions. Just, I think the first time he did it, apparently, it was a random kind of thing. He just, he got so excited he just went onions or something, I don't know. Um, but that became a kind of catchphrase. So for those dying second clutch plays, he would just say onions. Just suddenly made me think of that as I was going around, onions. 
Oh, I know it's all very random. I do apologise. What was his name? I keep thinking Jerry Rafferty. It wasn't, it wasn't Jerry. Was it? No, no. Um, Rafferty, Rafferty. Oh, it's going to bug me now. But, all that aside, and the slightly iffy Monty Python impersonation, um, we are onioning. Look. Cool beans. Well, I say cool onions, not cool beans, but I'm slightly annoyed about the HR46, I'm not going to lie. We are going to get quite a lot of this, aren't we? Same with sugar beet and potatoes, I assume onions. I'm now thinking that carrot harvest, blimey, that's going to be something else, isn't it? That's going to be absolutely huge. What was I thinking doing all of that? I suppose the only thing here, you've still got the green on the, on the ground. It's knowing I'm too close to the fence. It's knowing whereabouts. Can I get around there? I don't think I can. No, no, no. Don't do what you did with the trailer. Box yourself in. Yep. Can I still hook up? Come on. Let me go. Nope. <laughs> I just honestly... Um, I want to get this first offload, and I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do. Unorthodox. That should be the title of this entire Let's Play series. It's a jolly good Let's Play. Thoroughly enjoyed it. It was a bit unorthodox, though. Well, that's broken that. This is going to take some time. I'm glad I only put these in a small field. Could you imagine? Nearly there with the first four loads. There we go, right. If I just adjust... Um, there we go. That a little bit. I don't think I can do pipe up anymore, can I? Oh, maybe. Oh no, that's the window of the thing. Uh, Right, let's go and grab HR46 and see if we can't pull this trailer with it. If we can't, I might just scream and then sell the HR46 and buy something else. <laughs> might go with the Fent 9 series rather than the 10. Not quite sure why I connected to that, but... Just thinking, maybe there's another tyre option on this that has slightly lower profile tyres. Would that drop the hitch down enough, do you reckon? Is that worth a try? I'm not too sure. Maybe. On that and that. It might be high enough, but at least that way I know for definite. There we go. On on. Awesome. So I guess the next thing to do is what I always do, say, I'm going to see you in a little while. And it will be. I'm curious to see how much we're going to get. 
Um, plus, price-wise, onions at the moment, what are we looking at for price? How do they compare to other crops of a similar sort? Uh, hotels paying 293 which seems to be the highest price. Let's compare that to potatoes and sugar beet. Potatoes is in the 300s. Sugar beet's a lot lower. So, oh yeah, look. We've got potatoes. Oh, mind you, that's the um, self-marketing one, isn't it? At the campsite, 408 for potatoes. Okay. Well, I'm going to leave this in the middle of the field for the time being. Do a few more rounds and then give myself a bit of space and I can move that to the outside. And, uh, lovely job. I'm just thinking, shall I try? You know what I'm going to do? I know, oh no, I know, I'm wasting time. Prevaricating around the bush. Let's see if there is a slightly lower option. I just, I just need to get that down just a fraction. Let's take it into our little workshop. Hmm. Twenty-seven miles now. It's no slouch. <coughs> Might lose my voice. Customize. Um. Oh, that went down a little bit, didn't it? Did it go down any more from there to there? Oh, hang on, even more from there to there. Should we try that? I'm willing to give it a go. Oh, hang on, whoa, what's happened there? No, no, no. How do we end up with the crane? No, that's what we wanted. Thank you very much. Okay. Well, if this works, you'll probably see some footage of me doing the harvest with this. If not, I shall carry on blissfully happy as I have been And just like that, we're done. This is filthy. Look at the state of it. But we have cleared the field. I was using the HR46 to haul. However, I needed a front weight because it struggled. It kept lifting at the front. And I just I had that handy. So I just, <laughs> just put the first size of spreader on the front. I just thought it made life a little bit easier. Um, so we have got 49,794 litres in this trailer. The silo I've got doesn't take onions, so I've been putting them loose into a barn. I was going to take them and sell them straight away, but decided to store them. I'm probably going to regret that decision, because uh, I'm going to have to get them all out at some point. But we can do that maybe with a pickup conveyor or a bucket, or I don't know. We'll think of something. Now as it stands, I've already done two full loads. I say full loads. This holds 52,000 litres. Because the um, onion harvester did 10,000 litre loads, it was 50. So there's 100,000 litres in here. So adding this, we'll have 149,794 litres of onions. It's actually 
way more than I thought we were going to get. It's a fairly small field, but yeah, we did all right. Let's get the lights on so we can see back there. I've been having a think. I was watching Tom Pemberton. Um, he'd streamed, uh, when was it? Was it today or yesterday? I'm trying to think when he streamed. I'm um, just trying to check. Yeah, it was just, well, I'm recording this on Sunday, so it said, yeah, streamed live two hours ago. And he was talking about going to the Lama show. I'm seriously considering going to that. I've never been to Lama. And I think if they hold it, because the last couple of times, because uh, of COVID and stuff, they knocked on the head. But um, I think I might go to Lama. I might organise to go and have a look round. And I think there's going to be a whole load of different actual farming YouTubers there, not... Hang on, no, that's not the right one, is it? That's the uh, Devourer, I don't want that. I want... where have I left it? Is it the biogas plant? I need to pick up straw now. So, yeah, that's the onion harvest done. 149,000 litres. Now, my next job is to get all that straw off the field. Then I can turn my attention to pH levels. Then decide what I'm going to put back into the fields. Once that's in, then we can look at nitrogen levels. But for the time being, we're done with onions. I'm going to go and find this pickup, the milling machine. Um, am I going to cultivate that in? I'm just trying to think actually, do I need to? Does this need ploughing? Oh, it does, yes. So after onions, that's going to need ploughing. So I'm going to plough that first. We'll sort out. That's interesting as well. Look at the nitrogen level. That's sitting at 120 kilograms. So the onions have put nitrogen in. If you compare that to the oat field, well, that's what the nitrogen is looking like after the harvest there. That's pretty good. So the onion's obviously very nitrogen rich. That's going to be quite handy. That's not going to require anywhere near as much um, nitrogen when we put the next crop in. So very handy. Yeah, so what do you think? I don't know any people, how many people in the UK have been or go regularly or whatever. What do you reckon? Should I go to Lama? It'd be nice if anyone else goes, meet some subscribers and stuff, if anyone's available. I have to look into booking that. So then, I think at this point, we're probably okay for this episode. Next episode, because I'm going to have to straw off that field, I think it's time for cows, probably. I'll probably get some chickens in as well. Although, actually, I haven't got anything to feed the chickens yet. Maybe I need to do a wheat or a barley harvest. Chickens don't take oats, do they? That's the horses. Now, if I haven't got them in a machine tucked away in here, I don't know where I've put it. Which is a bit worrying. Oh, there it is. It is there. Did have a bit of a panic, but we're okay. I've got no silage on the go at the moment. Let's open the pipe up. And then obviously, oh yeah, bales. I was going to do grass baling, wasn't I? Um, and sort out a sheep. So maybe next episode is going to be a, a bit of animal work. Let's sort animals out, shall we? Let's turn that on. Drop it down. I think we're going to get a fair bit of straw off this. There's a lot on this field. But with that, I shall love you and leave you. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest, whatever you should choose to do. As always, thanks for watching.